talking away. I don't know what I'm to say. I'll say it anyway. Today's another day to find you shining away. I'll be coming for your love okay and take. So needless to say, I'm on sand ends, but that's me. I'm stumbling away, slowly learning that life is okay. Say after me, it's no better to be safe than sorry and take it gone. On behalf of the bride and groom, I would like to thank you all for taking the time to be here this afternoon and for making the journey to be part of this extraordinary moment. We are gathered here surrounded by those who cherish the bride and groom and joined in spirit by those who are un unable to attend. We are here to witness the gorgeous union between two equally gorgeous beings, Nyang Yap and Sophie Mua. Marriage is far beyond the notion of love and compromises whether through physical or verbal actions, as well as by contract. It's actually the little essences that gives weight and sustain a marriage. That is, the essence of embrace, willingness, and dedication to oneself and to each other. Embrace each other's strength, and more so during times of difficulty. Be willing to challenge your own mindset and look at your faults as learning opportunities and dedicate yourself to doing this over and over again until you reach a shared understanding in your relationship. These are qualities that are all easily said, but often rarely practiced. So you need to find a partner that believes in this wholeheartedly and lives by it daily and holds you accountable for exercising them as well. As individuals, Nyang and Sophie have exemplified these in their personal endeavors, and as a couple, they have continued to utilize these traits to elevate them to where they are today. I've known Yang his entire life. You see, I'm his aunt. His aunt. And it all started with the cutest Snoopy garment outfit that I would always trick him to wear because it made everybody smile. But I think it was actually more for me. He's my black swan. He was very timid and extremely introverted during his growing years. But what he kept to himself during his years, he made up later in life. Today, he's so well-rounded, fair, gentle, and funny as heck. A guy whose jokes and puns rival those of the greatest. Right, Soph? He can talk to you just about anything with a level of enthusiasm that can only be explained as his level of love for life. If there's ever a best friend in need, whether you're a kid or a wise old man, he's your man full of energy, optimism, logical advice beyond his years. Nyang, you are my best friend and since the Snoopy days, so I guess that one makes me your sidekick, Woodstock. 
I'm so proud of you, and I love you so much. You bring a strong sense of safety and humility to whomever you cross paths with. And Young's cross path with an equally stunning partner in Sophie, who on her own merit did not give her the pursuit of her own happiness and self-worth. She faced her hardship and obstacle dignified and with grace, always landed upright and strong. Sophie's tenacity goes beyond her drive for self-worth. Her willingness to grow is what makes it possible for her to enjoy the many facets of what we call life's ordinary, like understanding the root difference between a ficus benjamina and a ficus fiddle leaf plant. A relentless learner and giver, she finds so much joy in the de details, both big and small, because she doesn't take things for granted at all. So through their own life experience, as you've heard, They've each practiced the act of betterment through hardship and compromises, and I know they will bring the same amount of vigor to the marriage. They both admire, love, and respect each other and are so proud of what they have accomplished, individually and more so as a couple. Nyang and Sophie are like magnet and steel. In polarizing moments and in moments of certainties and uncertainties, they will gravitate and stick to each other. They are humbled by each other's past hardship, and lessons yet enamored by each other's act of determination and resilience. You see, when a person is willing to struggle with you to understand your past and present just to build with you, that's love. When asked what marriage means to them, without hesitation and in unison, they both answered, a commitment to learn and evolve with that person throughout life. This is a vital testament and a window into their understanding of what it takes to make it work because marriage isn't always graceful. In fact, it's often raw and uncensored. Sometimes in marriage, you see the absolute worst in someone, and you have moments of being irritated and triggered, and there will be hard seasons mixed with happy ones. But it isn't an amazing ride, and probably one of your greatest achievements. So grab each other's hand, like you are right now. Take a moment to squeeze each other's hand. You guys, this is your riding partner for life. The couple has decided to write their own vows that they wish to share with each other at this moment. Nyang, whenever you're ready. <coughs> From the day we first met, I knew there was something special about you. Your ability to light up a room with your presence was just the beginning of the incredible journey we've been on together. Man, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Your kindness and how you your kindness and how you embrace my family say everything about the amazing person <laughs> you are. Um, and here we are, surrounded by the people we love, and I'm ready to make you a promise. It's not a fun, it's not a fancy one, or just, it's just a promise that shows how deep my love is, and how committed I am to our future. Asking you to be my girlfriend was one of the coolest decisions I've ever made. Since then, we've shared laughs, faced challenges, and had the moments where we felt on top of the world, like today. And let's talk about your cooking skills. <laughs> They've been a game changer. Um, I enjoy it. Um, your, your dishes are like a party for my taste buds. Um, and I uh, you know, can't get enough. So as we dive into this next part of our story, here's my promise. I'll be your trusty sous chef, not just in the kitchen, but in life.
Almost there. <laughs> I'm all in, ready to stand by your side, do whatever life throws our way. Your dreams, consider them supported with my full dedication. We're in this together, conquering challenges and growing even stronger as a team. So today, I just wanna say, I love you again. And I'm excited for all the adventures waiting for us. That was hard. <laughs> Sophie will now read her vows to you now. Amazing, babe. Uh, I don't know if I can top that, but uh, <laughs> I'll no, do my just, best. Okay, so from the very beginning of our relationship, as we were discovering ourselves, somehow I always felt both of us gravity, gravitating towards each other without even knowing. Every minute we had or opportunity to be together, I recall wanting it to last forever. I still remember the early days when you told me you did not want a girlfriend. <laughs> but yet, any second you could, I would always get a message from you. Despite your words not aligning with your actions, I just need to be patient and to trust our daily interactions. I know there were some things there, something there, and I just knew I had to trust my guts. What led me to that conclusion is that I never felt any judgment coming from you and that you always treated me with so much respect. Over the years of being together, and of course more to come, there's no way I can imagine my life without, without you. You are, the, you are the first and only person that comes to mind every single day and whom I want to share the silliest thing ever. You have helped me redefine what love is and you're ignited and filled up this void that I had with you being just you, wholesome. Everything, everything I take on, you've always been my number one person and always encourages me to push myself further. With the beginning of this new chapter, lots of challenges will be thrown at us, but there is no one else in the world I would rather see myself go through it, as you are my everything. As long as we shall live, I vow to love you, to cherish you with everything that I have. I vow to always respect and always be honest. I vow to protect and preserve our relationship, and I vow to honor you as my husband. I love you deeply, with all my heart. Thank you for sharing your vows. <laughs> the vows you just recited are not to be taken lightly. Protect them remind each other of them, and make it a habit to check in with each, each other. Be each other's greatest cheerleader, and be each other's safe zone when everything around you is in chaos. The ring that you're about to present to each other encapsulates all of what was spoken and will be repeated now. Young, please place the ring on Sophie's finger and repeat after me. I promise to be. I promise to be. Your lover, companion, and friend. Your love. Lover, companion. Lover, companion, and, and friend. friend. Your ally in conflict. Your ally in conflict. Your partner in peace. Your partner in peace. And your biggest supporter. And your biggest supporter. I will be your companion in adventure. I will be a companion in adventure. Your comfort in disappointment. Your comfort in disappointment. Your strength in times of need. Your strength in times of need. And I will listen to understanding. And I will listen to understanding. And trust you completely. And trust you completely. Put the ring. Sophie. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Please take this ring and place it on young finger and repeat after me. I promise to be. I promise to be. Your lover. Your lover. Companion and friend. Companion and friend. Your ally in conflict. Your ally in conflict. Your partner in peace. Your partner in peace. And your biggest supporter. And your biggest supporter. I will be your companion in adventure. I will be your companion in adventure. Your comfort in disappointment. Your comfort in disappointment. In disappointment. Into disappointment. <laughs> your strength in times of need. Your strength in time in need. I will listen with understanding. I will listen with understanding. And trust you completely. And trust you completely. Young, do you take Sophie as your wife, as your companion and best friend for life? Will you treat her with love and devotion, honor and respect? Will you stand by her in the triumph and tragedy of life as a faithful and caring husband? If so, say I do. I do. Sophie, do you take Nyang as your husband, as your companion and best friend for life? Will you treat him with love and devotion, honor and respect? Will you stand by him in the triumphs and tragedies of life as a faithful and caring wife? If so, say I do. I do. Make sure to be dedicated to study and learn from each other and work on yourself, knowing very well that your better half is right next to you. And at the end of the day, you gravitate back to your best friend, the weirdest, most annoying, loving, goofy, but perfect person for you. And every once in a while, be sure to have that, imagine that conversation to keep each other tantalized and on course. Like, imagine the stroll you'll have together as an older couple, holding hands and enjoying your love in silence. Imagine young Eden Dill again and giving it a, a chance, because we all know how he loves Dill. Imagine finally collecting all the neat kitchen gadgets of Sophie's sushi omakase's offering. Now, imagine your family and the sound of it. Imagine looking into each other's eyes and still having that feeling and still thinking, man, we found each other. Your journey began when you each said hello to one another on the faithful day at the bank. So let the journey continue. I'm deeply honored that you have asked me to marry you, and I, along with all the witnesses here in this room, are so fortunate to be part of your journey. And so with that, by the power vested in me and the state of California, may you both nurture each other's souls and foundation. Always look forward to a resolution and always have a lot of puns doing it. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pride and honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Now, you've all done a fantastic job keeping your phone off, so let's keep it there just a bit longer as the bride and groom walk down the aisle and embrace each other for the first time as husband and wife. Please give them a moment to to themselves. Thank you. And there's...